Okay, oh, touch wow. the oil and you're dead. Yeah, I think we learned that lesson before. Now, when we last dealt with oil, it was, it just did a lot of damage. That's all right. Because we can keep this going. You know what? We're not even here. Light the fires, Mac! Light the fires within! And what is this game? Oh, I guess we're opening the door mechanism. Is my guess. Time for us to be burning wood back. Oh, wait. Okay, there's not something over here. I was gonna say, I'm like, that must do something. It's platforming, Andrea! It's platforming! Does not like a good platforming. Well, apparently the the current internet age doesn't, because how dare you make something that is a Call of Duty? Eh, duty. Sorry, I have a baby now. Poop jokes come a lot. Oh. Oh. You know what? I'm not even taking a risk. Okay, so this is going to light another one. Does this open it? Does this open the door? Yes, it does. So now we can go deeper and deeper into Victor's clan's castle of evil and domination. Rooftops and ramparts, that seems appropriate for the ninja clan. Ow, jeez. Wow. That is not cool. <laughs> F you, buddy. Ah, I can't knock the door open. Nope, we're not even dealing with you. Alright, was there a door over here? Yes, there is. Why, yes, there was. And it had relics. The game almost likes me for once. <laughs> no. I miss Charlotte terribly, you know. She really was my better half. She stopped me from putting some of my crazier plans into action. Like taking over the world! Lucas. I'm so sorry I got us into this mess. Yeah. Me too. How long has it been since you lost her? Oh, about 20 years ago now. Way before you were born. I met her when we designed a car together. It was the perfect blend of beauty and muscle. By the time that car was finished, we were madly in love. Truth is, we found Nack's orb together, too. I'd been gathering relics in deep caves for years, trying to learn everything I could about their origins. And on one of the days, Charlotte joined me. 
We made an amazing So they made the cutscene of him just discovering it, and then they added in Charlotte. A few yeah. minutes later, just consistency. The ground shook. One of those deep earthquakes that happened from time to time. Charlotte! And she fell into the depths. That does not confirm Hunted she's dead. For weeks and weeks. But I never found a trace of her. And there's never been anybody else for you? Well, how could there be? She was smart, talented, and beautiful. You know, I've been keeping quiet because I didn't want anyone to think I was losing my mind. But when I think of her work, like that car, and I think of the goblins' weapons and, and tanks, well, and I know this is crazy, but I see similarities. Well, if you say it's so, I believe you, but how? I'm just calling it right now. The ultimate villain is Charlotte. You think so? Yes, because she's trying to enact revenge for the fact that uh, dear hubby pants didn't actually look for her as far as she's concerned. Because that seems, I'm sorry, that death seems a little plot convenient. <laughs> Especially the whole concept we never found a trace of her. Of course you didn't. She's going to come back. Secret detector part. Okay, so now we have five of seven. Yeah. We might actually be able to unlock some of these parts in this Let's Play. <laughs> That'd be amazing if we did. Oh, hi. All right, learn my lesson. So as we continue to scale. Oh, jeez, come on. And here's my friend. Ow! Okay, what part of that seemed fair? I'm sorry, but hard mode is not hardcore mode. Yeah, we're only on oh, yeah, normal right. mode. I already got that. Right to the face. Okay, whatever. I'm just saying, it's pretty freaking convenient that I can't actually hit them. I double jumped. You saw it, Andrea. That's all right. I'm going to get my crystal power up this time uh, around. All the pieces come raining down. All right. Well, I've got my crystal power up now, so. Now you just have to deal with Hurricane Mac, man. Just, just deal with it. F you. Alright. What's this? Ooh, another secret. Tomb Raider! Yes, we, we are doing more Tomb Raiding than Tomb Raider did in the first game. Uh, so this is the another addition to the combo meter. There was something back here, wasn't there? No. No, I was just hoping there was. Up the stairs we go.
Oh, and the return of Woodnack. Yes, give me all your wood. Uh, oh. Oh, dude! It's Porcupine Knack! Yeah, he looks really cool. There we go, come on. Well, I guess Porcupine would have been the ice one. Except we were making Sonic jokes at that one. Uh -huh. Give me more. Come on. There we go. I guess we just gotta deal with it. And now we're in the upper end of Victor's clan's castle, which is the Foot Clan because he's the Shredder. But now, that, now that you think about it, all the Victor's clan uh, uniforms kind of make sense now. He, he, they're Foot Clan. Yeah. Except they're not robots. Hi, I'm Godzilla Nack, and I'm here to sell you a timeshare. <laughs> he almost looks demonic. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I got the power. Unlimited power! Oh, and there's Ryder. So. So we have to have some kind of helper. All right, so chapter 6-4 on a rampage. Unfortunately, that's going to go ahead and do it for this week. We are almost out of time, so we will see you guys next time for more Knack. What? We're sorry, Wood Knack. Did somebody sell? What? What? Welcome back, everybody, to Knack on PS4, and this is Let's Play with Drac and with Andrea. How are we doing today, Andrea? I'm doing fine. How about you? I'm doing good, aside from the last couple of weeks of problems that have happened, uh, which other videos will probably explain, but we might go into a little, little bit. But welcome back, everybody, to our Let's Play of Knack. So last time, we got to a point where uh, the professor and... Uh, not, his, not his son, but his nephew are kidnapped, and so we embraced the inner power of wood uh, to come and rescue them. So that is what we are doing right now. We are wood knack, for lack of a better term. I don't want to call him fire knack, and I think a few people have actually said, no, it's fire knack. No, I, I call that wood knack, because what makes the sum of his parts is wood. Yeah, and the just fire for the, for the just for the fact I have to make the joke. Did somebody sell what? Yeah, because the fire just adds the effect. Yep. Oh look, a spotlight. Wandering around in the dark. Someone could get hurt. I'm on fire. How can I wander in the dark? Yeah, you can see him. From a mile away. <clears throat> I might be small, but I'm much faster. Nah, I got you right where I want you. <laughs> nah, who's next? Well, that was some great acrobatics she just performed there. It just, it worries me that he performed them on, uh, I can't remember her name off the top of my head, Jennifer something. I love Jennifer. Uh, she's from lots of things. She's uh, actually Miss Marvel in Earth's Mightiest Heroes, and it's a great moment. Wah! Oh, come on! Are you kidding me? Ah, uh, oh, welcome back to Death Fest, everybody. Yep. Those stupid shields. S 
smack. All right, we got another round. All right, now we can go a little bit further into the castle. And, oh, wait, what What happened? Yeah, what happened? That hey. wasn't cool. You lost Big Neck. <laughs> I lost my Megazoid Neck. How cruel. So, yeah, around the time that we are recording this, this is about late September, and people might notice that for about two weeks, there has been no uploads to either this channel or to Dragon Shadow. And, are, and have actually been sending me uh, messages wondering why. And also the podcast has been having some issues. Uh, to put it simply, so... Basically, I was running... I have been running on the same hard drive for about... I want to say about 10 years. And it was about time that I finally replaced it. And I even consider getting a, a solid state drive. So I tried to do that, and in the process my motherboard died. So that's so, why things took so long. I had to get new PC parts, and I had to get it all assembled. And but Drek is gonna make it up to you guys by uploading a few more than usual. We're, we're gonna get back to schedule, at the very least. Oh, yeah. Um, we'll, we'll work this out as best we can, but I also do want to keep us to a schedule, and especially with Let's Plays like this, where we are attending a baby at the same time. And in fact, you will probably be able to hear her in the background because we're trying to get her down for a nap and it's not really working. Well, because she's already had her nap, basically. Give me more parts. Give me more pieces. More relics. But baby says hi in case if you want to know. It's confirmed she is a geek. No, we really don't know that yet. Well, we'll make her. But in the geek. meantime, we've actually had some exciting things happen. Uh, do you want to go into that, Andrea, a little bit? Well, we were going, we were going through our little week. Uh, well, three day week, three days of Comic Con here in Salt Lake City. Yep. And uh, so we actually landed upon tickets, and we went. Uh, I actually only went for about a couple of hours, but uh, Andrea and the Shadow Blazer actually stuck around for a little while longer. Uh, got to take part in a panel with the Weasley twins, which, if we haven't already said this, Andrea is like a very big Harry Potter fan. In fact, one of the biggest I know. Yeah, we, we got to enjoy some of it. Yep. Oh, look. Smoke everywhere. Oh, no. Huh. Isn't it a little, uh... Jennifer Hale! That's her name. Strong? Jennifer Hale. Perhaps not for the Ice Queen, though. Funny, pretty boy. <laughs> it's actually quite warm. We've had a little impromptu bonfire. Oh. <laughs> yes. I noticed. So, where exactly can I find the Doctor and Lucas? Last I looked, they were enjoying Victor's hospitality. So sorry to run. Duty calls. Hey. Hey. What the heck is that? That rider is the source of all our troubles. Victor found a couple dozen of these giant relics down deep in the mine. He's got big plans for them. Doctor wants them too. So, did you find out where the goblins were getting their weapons from? <sighs> Who they got them from, yes. The source is some super goblin named Gundahar. Where they got them from? Don't know. He seemed to have a factory somewhere. They're so heavily armed, it's gonna be tough to get close. If we could just build a tracking device that... that looks like a relic, then make sure that the, the goblins pick it up on their next raid. Well, then we could track them to wherever it is they call home. Hmm. Sounds good. Let's go get the doctor. Might run into your girlfriend, too, hey. while we're at it. You think I'm clever, right? Eh. <laughs> oh, clever wordplay. Our heroes at their finest. Okay, we actually do need to take a quick break and get the baby down, so we'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody. Sorry about that. We uh, we had to go take care of baby girl for at least a little bit. But we are back for more knack. And they are 
polluting the ground. Somebody call Captain Planet. Or unless if you want nice to call back. you know who. Is it Robo Knight? No. Yeah. No. I'll I'll settle for Captain Planet, thanks. Cause he's just silly. He's just silly. He is. Alright. You're getting so... close to Megazord mode. Okay, well. Oh, okay. I did not notice the chain mace on the other guy. I thought he just had another gun. So, since we were kind of talking about... Yes, we were talking about... Uh, well, I get, I get killed. Uh, we were talking about Sully Comic Con. And the fact that we... Had some fun there. You got to meet the Weasleys. Yep. And I got to meet um, two Power Rangers. Did you? Yeah. I thought you said you just went to the panel. Well, yeah, the panel. Oh, okay. Yeah, so she got to meet uh, I Oscar. I mean, I at least, you know, got to at least see them live. Would, would you like to say who they are? Or? Um, It would be Jason and Aisha, but, you know, they're... Those would be the two people, you know, the actors who played them. Yeah, Austin St. John and Kara Ashley. So. Yeah. And I would say this has actually been my first Comic-Con going. And it's actually really fun to actually meet them in, you know. In person. Or at least yep. see them live for once and not actually see them on television or anything else. Wait, are you trying to tell me that TV is not real? But it's all a lie? Well, I just say it's... It's just not the same. Ah, uh, this is true. Did you get star shot Or did you get a little bit of a star... What's the word I'm looking for? Star shock, I think. That's what it's called. Oh. Uh, no. No. Really. It was just cool to see him. It was just awesome, you know. And did you get to meet anybody else? At least um, that's all I could see, you know, since it is Thursday and I'm not able to go on every single time, you know? Yeah, because, like, the big events were on Friday and Saturday, they had pretty much the entire cast of Winter Soldier. So they had Chris Evans, they had Sebastian Stan, uh, Anthony Mackie, and they also had Haley Atwell from Agent Carter. And unfortunately, we only got uh, Thursday passes. So. I mean, I guess you could have gone to some of the other days, but unfortunately, I would have only been able to go Thursday, mostly. But the real question that people are probably asking is, what what cool, unique swag did you get while, while there? And I, I hate to I hate to burst people's bubble, but uh, we didn't get a whole lot. There were only a few things that were interesting to us. you were here to rescue my nephew and get yourself captured yes well uh, things didn't go exactly as planned uh, thank you for the rescue what are you thanking him for i did all the hard work knack you survived leaving so soon doctor uh hang tight i'll be right back Oh, this Sorry, is cute. Just getting a welcome ready for you. Oh yeah, so all we mostly did basically it's was so sad Victor couldn't stay for this. I know he We looked at all the cool merchandise there. And then we went to see a couple of panels. 